Now let's say you want to create a look where all the ends are bright, but it's kind of dimensional throughout, almost like an ombre, but goes up a little bit higher. Okay, so kind of think like this. It's all of the ends are bright here, and then there's a little bit of dimension throughout. So here's how I tackle something like that so quickly. This was like 12 foils. It's actually going to be quite simple. So here's a head sheet, um, just to give you an example of what the partings look like. So you want to go up the back horizontally as we do, but just not leaving any sections of hair left in between. And you just want to saturate really, really, really well. Um, your sections could be a little bit thinner as you get toward the top of the head, but I think I still only did four foils on the top, three on each side, and like four or five up the back. Super simple, you just wanna make sure that your saturation is done really, really well. And you can vary how high up you're going with your back combs, if that makes sense. So then you're gonna give it like beautiful dimension throughout. So some pieces you make a little thinner and go up a little higher with the back comb, and some pieces you kind of go down a little bit lower and then you get this beautiful contrast, but all of the ends are going to turn out bright. And you know, we really didn't have to do a root smudge for this one at all. You could if you want to at the end with the toner, but you really don't have to. I do want to add something in when you get up around the face, like where it frames the person's face, you definitely want to go up higher with the, you You don't want, okay, so you want to go up higher in the front of the face where it frames the face with the back comb and maybe go a little bit thinner with your section so that you create almost some kind of a face frame, which is how the sun would hit the hair. So you don't want it to look like terribly unnatural. And that's a good way from making it look intentional and not grown out. See, and then this is the end result of that placement, which I love so much. The ends are all bright, but there's plenty of dimension throughout, so it's perfect. 